Greetings Winter Zurich fans, um, I'm Frixos Masuras and I'm here to talk to you about uh, the future uh, in a way, uh, seeing how the band is currently expanding their uh, material both musically and otherwise. Well, uh, I was first approached uh, by Winter's Verge uh, just uh, before the middle of last year uh, to complete Adamar's story. You've clearly experienced it this um, uh, comic book uh, and on the album, of course, The Vampire's Story, in which um, George uh, presented to me the concept, the story of this vampire, and he wanted me to write a narration uh, in which the vampire himself would be talking to an old man, uh, what he would be saying and how his story. Uh, would unfold. At first, I it was literally a blank page. It was just, here it is, you need to sit down and decide what this vampire is uh, going through, what he's thinking, even though I had to go uh, through some general guidelines that the band presented to me at the time. Uh, and that presented uh, some challenges um, in itself in that I had freedom and yet I was uh, restricted by what was given to me. Uh, and then there was a further restriction. Mind you, when I use the restriction, there's nothing negative here. Uh, actually, it's, it's uh, the best way to work uh, as a writer is to be restricted in a way uh, in that you know where you're going, you're focused uh, in that sense. Because if, if you have a blank page and you're free, that is the most daunting thing in the world. So as it was, I not only had the uh, original concept presented to me by the band, I also had the, um, the comic book, the comic book strip that was going to be presented uh, in, uh, uh, in the uh, album's release. And so I had to sit down and decide how this would be done. And then I had to record uh, Adamar's voice. Uh, that, was, that was the best part, actually. Because not only did I have to sit down and think of what this uh, troubled being uh, would be going through, I, have, I had to externalize it at the same time. And that presented beautiful challenges in its own as well, in that I had to create a voice for Adamar, which of course uh, you can check out on the uh, revamped, <laughs> you see what I did there, on the revamped YouTube channel of Winter's Verge, um, from what I understand, and there's one of uh, the band members sitting right there looking at me, uh, uh, they are go <laughs> they're going to start presenting more and more uh, media, literally, uh, on the YouTube channel and on the website, uh, through which people can actually learn a lot about the, uh, the world of Winter's Verge, and it's literally a world. You can see the map on the screen. The, the map eventually will be um, fully interactive. You'll, you'll be able to click on uh, hotspots and specific locations on the map filled with lore, uh, which we will slowly start building uh, with the band. Now, um, as a second step, because this is literally the second step following Adamar's story, uh, the, uh, the next challenge uh, will be directly connected to the next EP uh, that the band is this is going to release around April, if I'm not mistaken. Around April is a, well, it's a brand new story in a sense, yet it is connected to Adamar through a, uh, a very specific means. Um, again, I was presented with the basic concept by the band. They told me this is what's going to happen. This is, this is, this is how this is going to end up. And I had literally on paper, it was all uh, oral through the phone. <laughs> it was a beautiful experience. Thank you, George. Uh, I had to write everything down and then sit down and write what ended up being 3000 words. Uh, so you understand that what is to happen is literally five times larger than what Adamar's story was. And that is, that is a beautiful thing uh, for me, uh, to be honest, as a long time fantasy fan, D&D player, and all that, mainly Dungeon Master, thanks to all my players who don't want to DM. Uh, I, 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 I live off this thing. So it was a, it was a brilliant opportunity to stretch uh, my writing legs, uh, as it were, because the concept they presented me with was amazing. Um, I'll, just, I'll just leave this here. Pirate Werewolves, that's all I need to say about that. It is the Wolves of Tiburon, it will be called, and um, soon enough, the band will start releasing bit by bit. They will tease a little bit about what is to come and you should definitely check it out. So stay tuned and uh, stay metal.